All right, so I'm almost there. Still got a bit of a hole to contend with yet. And I'm going to take these two dogs off. Hammer down these high points, namely this big guy, hammer that down, and then hammer that down some, and then I'm going to knock these two dogs off here, and I'm going to move them over in these two spots here, and that should get me right where I need to be, and then I can finish. Walden this up right across. Okay, so the dog, uh, the, sorry, the dent puller didn't work, so I put the dog back on. Here's what I've got to work with. Pretty significant hole, wouldn't you say? Anyway, put that on there. I welded her down good, and that should bring her up nice and level. Okay, so there we go. I pulled that down, screwed that down there. It's pulled it in fairly, got rid of quite a bit of that high-low. I'm just gonna go ahead, weld that from there up to there, and then cut this uh, dog off, repeat the process for here, and then probably again here until she's finished. All right, I'll show you when it's done. All right, so still have quite a bit of gap as you can see, but that's all welded up there. Looks kind of not like a great weld, but metal metal is uh, quite thin, and I had to kind of turn it down real low because she was just opening up on me. So anyway, so we'll put some more straps on here and uh, close her up. Okay, so I got most of it all welded up, cleaned up, as you can see. And then I had to stop and take the straps off and then readjust and work my way down, work my way down and keep closing it up as I'm going along. And <clears throat> so now, if you can see this, all right, now I've got a little bit of a problem here. This is all buckled in. This side here is going under this side, and the same here, it's right under. So what I'm going to do is put a dent puller on this side, pull the dents out here, here, and here first, and then work on this, and this here, and then that should fix the problem. We'll just have a look down the side here, see if we can see a little better. So there we go. Okay, so now I have my dent puller tabs welded on, both of them, and I put them in the lowest part of the, where it's, where you can see where it's bent here, right? Right in the lowest dip of both spots. That's where you want to uh, place your tabs. And just so that you know what a dent puller looks like, for those that you don't, this here, it's kind of hard for me to hold this and do it at the same time with the camera but you get the idea here you put that in the tab this here will slide up and down and it when it hits there it just works like a, a hammer but in reverse right so there's your dead pole all right so now i have my dog tacked on i put a leather apron over the nylon straps to protect them from the sparks when i was welding it but if you can see now, there's the high low there. And then, sorry about the shakiness there, but you can see that actually screwing that down. Now she's perfectly level. See that there? I'll just let it back up. I'll back it off just to show you one more time. The difference 
There it is there. It's nice and high, right? And then just screw her back down. And then perfect. No more high low. All right, so here's a lawn roller that was full of water and left in there over the winter and has split. And uh, I'm showing, here's a video on how to fix that split. Now, this split here was probably about that wide. It was actually really, really wide. And so what I did <clears throat> was I just took a hammer and it had a big hump here too. It split out and then up and it was like probably you know I don't know say that's a split there probably like that high up it split out and up anyway <clears throat> I took a hammer and then hammered down the high spots and then put the straps on there with a piece of wood through and the key is is have the wood right over the uh, split seam and um, when you pull it in, it just kind of brings it down nice and level. Now, when you look from the side here, you can see that this side here is a little high still. So I'm going to make up a dog and weld it on there. And I'll show you how that works. That'll push that down perfectly level. And then I just have that tiny little seam to just uh, weld up. Okay, so here's my dog, all welded up, ready to go, and it will go on here, just like so, and then you just screw that down, and it should bring it right flush, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Alright, so I threw a leather apron over those nylon straps to protect them from the sparks as I welded that. Let's we'll see if I can get the nice shot here showing just how that works there we go all right Should just push that right down in there. See that go down now? There we go. I'll push it, let it back up. Comes up. Right. Perfect. And that looks like the right height. Stop there and tack it. Alright, so this is how you fix a lawn roller. This one here was full of water over this cold winter that we just had minus 25 and as you can see it split right on the weld all the way down and believe it or not it was split open probably about that wide and the metal here was humped up like way up so what I did was I should have did a video on that but I took a hammer and then just pounded it down, put these straps on it, and the key is, is to put a piece of wood over top of the welded seam. Alright, so this is how you fix a water 